Hey everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 6 Rise and Fall. So, we got a free city to take. The only thing I'm slightly worried about is loyalty. But we'll see about that. The worst case scenario is we'll have to take a policy or two. We got at least two good policies that could help loyalty. Let's have a look. We got... where is it? This one. Plus two loyalty per turn for cities with a garrison unit. And we also have colonial offices. This one should work quite nicely. Plus 15% faster growth and free loyalty per turn for cities not on your original capital's continent. That should work. In fact, I think we should pick that up for the growth. We'll see. And we also have this one. Governors provide plus two loyalty per turn. So we have options. We have three different policies that we could take if loyalty starts to be a problem. Anyway, about the settler. It's all Tundra over here, but we should still grab a city somewhere. How about right here? We'll have gypsum in range, we'll have two tiles with salt. Three tiles with salt and also tobacco. Oh, and we also have a goodie hut down here. Let's check that out. 75 gold, alright. I'll take it. Anything else? I moved the governor to the coastal city because we'll need that for fisheries. And our spy. We should probably spy on the Cree. Yep, let's do that. I think he's the leader right now and we're second. Yes, he is. We can also sabotage his production. We have options. So we might want to switch our civic research can have the model to just to be color. able to change our policies so after we take this city. Taking the city won't be very hard, but you can see there's a lot of loyalty pressure from the Mapuche. That's mostly what I'm worried about. First, let's actually take the city, shall we? So I'll bring the second bombard. We probably don't need it, but I'll bring it anyway. As for our next research, let's have a look. Kill a unit with a knight. I really want to get that boost, but I'm not sure if we can. Have two forts in your territory. Yes, we could get that one. Let's have a look. How many turns would we need for a military engineer? Only four turns. It's probably worth doing. We can also just research astronomy real quick. Which is required for scientific theory one way or the other. Okay, let's do that then. And I think we should get industrialization ASAP. Which means we need cartography and square rigging. I don't think I'll be waiting for two harbors just to save two turns on research time. So how about we just get started on cartography and square rigging and we can work on free workshops. We are already working on that. Not necessarily for the boss, but for the extra production. Speaking of production, yeah, workshop. And yep, workshop. Okay then, we got the builder, we just need to wait a few turns for the governor to move. But let's at least improve the wilds, it is a luxury. And we need to repair the gypsum. Declaration of war. Okay, we are at war with the Kree. Oh, that's because he declared war on our ally. Okay. He's not only our neighbor, so I can't attack him right now. We'll worry about him later. So fortify and the bombards can do their job on the next turn. Next. I wonder if we could declare war using SCB to get the nationalism boost. Might be a little bit hard, I don't think we have SCB on anyone right now. 
Let's see, we can get a deal, I think. 13 gold per turn. That's a lot of gold. I think I'll pass. I kind of need my gold for unit upgrades. Alright, let's do some damage. Yeah, that's not very hard. In fact, I think we can just take the city right now. Yeah, we certainly can. Okay, then. There, it's ours. Keep the city. But here, yeah, loyalty is definitely going to be a problem. In fact, we have to switch our research. Let's research Divine Right real quick, and then we can switch the policies. And we need to move one of our governors. Who can we actually move? Good question. Let's have a look. I really don't want to move the educator. Oh, the diplomat is not assigned to anything. Technically, we could move her into the city. It's not exactly the most optimal use for her, but we can do it. At least temporarily. Yeah, let's just do that temporarily. I kind of need my other governors where they are. Repair the monument, that will give us some influence. And we'll change our policies in two turns. Yep, sounds good. And we'll probably switch to professional army for a few turns. Since we have quite a few units to upgrade. I think this is going to be the last city we'll be starting ourselves. Yeah, there's still some space, but I don't think it's worth starting any more cities at this point. Probably not. Alright, let's go grab the nighter. Not that we need it, but we can always sell it. He thinks we're a warmonger. <laughs> we are not a warmonger. We're just aggressively defending ourselves, clearly. Why would anyone ever think Shaka is a warmonger? I don't know, man. Oh, nice, a great person. So that's going to be a great engineer. Triggered Eureka moment for one random technology from the modern era. Workshops provide plus one culture. Yeah, that is pretty nice, actually. And looks like we will get a merchant. Well, maybe not. 13 points per turn from the Cree. Okay. Promotion. That's going to be which one? This one. Let's pop the engineer right away. So that's extra culture. He didn't like that. I don't care about your opinion. We got steel bust. What is that exactly again? I think that's building a coal mine. Yes, build a coal mine and an ironclad. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now, if only we could kill a unit with a knight. I could kill some barbarians, but it would take a little bit too long to move all the way across the continent. We can always just declare war on the Mapuche and do it like that. Can we use SCB? First, let's denounce him. Oh, already denounced. Can we use SCB? No. We don't satisfy the conditions for any CB. Well, alright. Fine. Monument. That will give us some loyalty. And fortify until healed. Anyway, the city. Should be right here. Well, actually, hold on. Now, if we settle here, we won't have tobacco in range. I was thinking we could maybe settle on this spot and then get a harbor, but this city will probably be too underdeveloped to get a harbor anyway. So, this will do. And the monument, I suppose. And we should send a builder in this general direction. How's our era score? We got 78. 
So we have enough for normal age. I don't think we'll get 10 more points. But there is a chance. It might happen. It would certainly be nice to get a golden age for loyalty. Grab the nighter. What do you want? A trade. That's an interesting trade. Okay, hold on. Wait, we are going to get whales in like a few turns. So there's no need for that. He wants to trade as well. I don't really want to give him nighter, you know. Because that will help his military. We don't want to help his military. He won't give us a fair deal. At least I don't think so. Well, we can get one luxury. Can we also get some gold? Oh yeah, apparently we can. 150? No. 30... 20... Yeah, that's reasonable. Alright, let's accept that. 125 gold and a luxury. Works for me. Open borders. And she wants our nighter. I'm not going to sell strategic resources. At I least not to anyone I plan to go to war with. Power of kings with this and there's ability. divine right. So now... We can change our policies. What do we want to replace? We can replace serfdom. And we'll take colonial offices. We don't need professional army, if only for a few turns. But I also need the gold. I don't really want to replace both Merchant Confederation and Free Market. That seems like a bad idea. Well, let's replace Free Market with Professional Army for now. Colonial Offices might be enough. Yeah, hopefully it will be enough. Let's find out. Seven turns. We are moving the governor. Okay then, so walls. Worst case scenario, we'll just have to take the city again, which is not exactly hard. Let's just say. Not hard at all. More population would also help, because, you know, population means loyalty. Other effects 9, Governor 8. Minus 20 pressure from nearby citizens. Yeah, that is quite a lot of pressure. We can make it grow, well, no, not really. 51 turns is a little bit too much. Just a little bit. Can we make the other city grow? Well, in 9 turns, or 11 turns in this case. Okay, 9 turns is fine. What's next? Just continue nationalism. I don't think we'll be able to get this boost. Or we could get naval tradition and then get more loyalty policies. Okay, fine. Let's take enough policies to stabilize. University, commercial hub... Ikanda, 8 turns. I don't think we need one over here. Probably not. So, how about industrial zone? Or commercial hub. We can get a decent one with plus 2. Where is the future industrial zone going to be? Probably right here. I don't like building industrial zones on hills, but that seems like the best location. First, let's grab a commercial hub. And back to our capital. We could still try to build the Forbidden City in 19 turns. It might be worth a shot. 
Oh, and we need a trade route. Let's maybe get that first. So, professional army. Let's upgrade, shall we? 195 gold. And another one. I think that's it for now. Oh yeah, the swordsman. 115. Yep, might as well upgrade him. And one more impi. Once we get more gold. Alright, looks good. I wonder where Lautaro's capital is. It can't be too far away. I'm actually thinking it's like right here. Because we are getting so much loyalty pressure. There's a pretty good chance that's his capital right there. Okay, chemistry boost. Oh, and another great person. A great scientist. Gain 500 science for each natural wonder tile. Oh. I don't think we can use that one. There's a natural wonder right here. But... We cannot enter Georgia's territory. And I highly doubt they will give us open borders. That's not going to happen. At least I don't think so. Oh no, she will give us open borders. It's just that we'll have to pay. We can give her niter. You know what, alright, let's do it. And a little bit of gold. 75... 85... 95... Wait, will she give us 100? Uh, no. Alright, 95... And open borders. Works for me. And we can grab the great scientist. This will give us 1000 science. From this wonder. What's next? Granary to get more population, which translates into loyalty. And let's move. Oh yeah, move the civilian unit out of there. And then we can move the great scientist. Off you go. City losing loyalty. Yes, I'm well aware of that fact. No, it's stable. Zero. Okay. City growth at 25%. City yields reduced by minus 50%. Well, we just need to raise our loyalty now. <laughs> Easy enough, right? Yes, I'm sure. So, we got five builds to use. Should probably get some mines around here. As for our spy, gain sources first. And then we'll probably sabotage production. Or try to get some boosts. We'll see about that. You want your spy? Okay. We could accept that, actually. Will you give us some gold? Maybe? Yeah. A little bit. Sure, good enough for me. If your actions inspire others to dream so, more, cartography is done. More, do more and become more. And can we get fisheries yet? Yes, the governor finished the move. Alright, let's go get the fisheries and we'll improve the whales as well. The fisheries are actually really damn good. And the city needs them to continue to grow. Otherwise, it will just be stuck at its current population. Now, do we want Forbidden City or not? Don't get me wrong, I want the Forbidden City. It's just that it might be a bit of a waste waiting 18 turns. And there's no guarantee we'll actually get it. Still, I think I'll give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Sure. And how about we get some extra production? We could get plus 4, but then we'll be sacrificing 9 gold per turn. And we need an active trade route with the Netherlands. 
Okay, off you go then. Are we close to a level 2 alliance? We should be very close. Oh, we did just hit level 2 alliance. So now we'll get a Eureka boost every 30 turns. Assuming we'll be able to stay allied. Which is not as obvious as you might think. I hope we'll be able to, but we'll see about that. We still need that coffee improved. And let's go get our science. Do we have the tech queued up? Yes, we do. What is going to be after industrialization? Probably astronomy. And then scientific theory. Something like that. There is little Here. Man has so that gives us square rigging. And we'll get industrialization in five turns. Okay then. Hopefully we'll have some coal. Although, out of all the resources, this is probably the least important one for us. Still, I want at least the one Navy source of coal. Has both a tradition and we a have so much territory that I can't imagine we won't have at least one source of coal, but I've seen crazier things happen. Civic completed. Yeah, our loyalty is not changing, which means we need one more loyalty policy. If we want it to go up. We can replace professional army with something. Let's see, we need at least one more promotion. Yeah, the impi. I think that's the last one we need. I'm pretty sure that's the last one for now. Yep, looks like that's actually the last one. So let's replace this with loyalty in cities with a garrison. Yep. Where was that? Yeah, right here. And that was military. Okay, looks good. Do we maybe want free market instead of caravansaries? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that will give us more gold. It will not, apparently. Okay, I was convinced that will be worth more. But I guess not. <laughs> Back to nationalism. 11 turns left. And Bulawayo. We could use another builder around here. Let's just recruit a builder. Now, I don't think we'll be getting Kumasi back because I would need 16 envoys. That is just not going to happen. We should probably work on another city. Let's get one in here. Plus two production in the capital when producing units. Yeah, sure, why not? Not that it's super useful right now, but it will be in the future. We'll grab the fisheries. Come on. And we got industrialization. We got some coal, because I can see the notification. Oh, right here. Under the city. Yeah, okay, that works. Looks like that's the only one we have, actually. So, fisheries. And now it's Tofod. We should definitely build a harbor in there, but that will take a little bit of time. What's next? We need two banks for one of the boosts. Let's maybe work on that one. Yep, and another bank. Not to mention we need the gold, so a bank makes sense for that. Maybe walls first. It won't hurt having some. Now, ballistics, military science. Let's go for ballistics. We should get a chance to kill a unit with a knight. But I don't think I'll be bothering with a military engineer. It's just not worth it. We can work on Granada. How's that tech ranking? We are in the lead. Poundmaker is second. Everyone else is way behind from the looks of it. Or at least quite significantly behind. 
So let's go get the whales, shall we? It's been long enough. And university? We could grab an archaeduct actually, that is not a bad idea. It's actually worth getting one here, so sure. Get the coffee. And another fishery. Maybe switch the city to food, otherwise it will not grow. At least not at a reasonable pace. We'll get one more population and then we can switch to production again. Because then it will be at 6 out of 7 housing. Nabamba. Bank 25 turns. Industrial zone 26. What about theater square? Yeah, we can get one on top of the tundra. Yep. Sounds good. Loyalty is going up now. Full loyalty in 29 turns. That will certainly help. Get the whales. And a few more fisheries. We'll just get fisheries everywhere. Oh, and once we finish nationalism, we'll be able to get armies. Which is kind of the whole point of researching it. Which means we are going to need a few more units to merge into our existing ones. Especially ranged, since melee guys will upgrade when we take cities with them. Barbarians approach. Oh, hi. Well, you know what? Maybe we should send the knight. I mean, it's not like he has anything better to do. If we can kill a barbarian with a knight, that will give us the boost. Might as well give it a shot. Oh, and we should get rid of that barbarian camp right here. Yep. And also, we should get an entertainment complex. Somewhere in the middle. So how about right here? It will have several cities in range. I think this style will be best for it. Okay, sure. It's only 7 turns. More fisheries. Just spam them. And then we can move the governor out. That's the general idea. Get all the fisheries and then move the governor elsewhere. And then we can get fisheries for other cities. Like Nabamba. What do you think you're doing? Oh, he's going to pillage something. Well, alright. We'll just repair it if he does. There's no district here. Just regular tile improvements. Enemy spy killed. Which means we should be able to get a deal. Alright, so let's move the knight. How many turns do we actually need to get here? 11 turns. Yeah, okay, that might be a little bit too much. At this point, it will be faster to recruit a new knight. Which we could use one way or the other. I could delay the Forbidden City. I don't know, 13 turns? There's a good chance we'll build it. Which would be quite useful. <laughs> I like how that barbarian just killed himself. Oh, we got an emergency! He captured Granada. That's like right here. I'm not sure if we can take that in 30 turns. It's a little bit far away. We could try. What if we fail? He will get gold. I think we should accept if only to get bonuses against him. Yeah, I think so.
And that way, the Netherlands will also be at war with him. Alright, you know what? Let's accept. Fine by me. I guess we'll need that knight after all. And this way we can get the boss. It shouldn't be very hard to kill something with a knight. Okay, can we leave without dropping loyalty? Yes, we can. Okay, good, because I need all the units I can get in the area. Well then, let's go. This shouldn't be very hard. Accept. Do we have to wait one turn? Yeah, maybe, I don't know. As for our spy... Sabotage production, 24%. We could also siphon some funds. You know what, yeah, let's siphon some funds because we could use more gold. And that way... We have higher chance to succeed and get a promotion for our spy. Trader. Okay, looks like the Barbarian is leaving. That's good. He will attack Korea instead. Get the gold. And we should be at war with Lautaro right about now. Oh, he has a city super close. This explains the loyalty pressure. That city is only four tiles away from ours. Okay, so there's the emergency. Now we got 30 turns. To attack Granada. Do we really have to be at war with the Kree right now? He wants us to pay. No, I don't think so, buddy. Hey, sure, I can stay at war. Doesn't matter. So, you know what we can do? We can move the bombard into our encampment district. And then attack from inside the encampment district. We can also merge the bombards into a bombard army. Once we finish nationalism. That sounds like a good idea. However, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.